In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a LinkedIn carousel in Canva. First thing you need to do is sign up to Canva. This is how the process will go. You go to sign up and you can sign in with Google or Facebook or email. Then you need to create a design. Let's go to create a design and then we go to custom size and then you'd go 180 by 1350. And that is the design you want to go through, go for, then you want to create a new design. Now I'm going to go into a design that I created a little earlier because I've created a LinkedIn carousel template that you can also download for free using the link in the description. But I'm going to show you how I created these elements so that you can create them too. So first of all, before we get into the design, I'm going to go through the elements that you need to have in your carousel to get more impressions, more engagements and more leads. After that, I'll tell you the amount of slides you should have in your carousel to get more impressions. First, you want your cover, which has your hook. So your hook is supposed to get attention is communicate a benefit to the reader, make it relevant to your expertise and promise a result. So for example, I could say six tips on how to write better LinkedIn posts. That's a good hook. Then you have your context and proof. Let me actually open up a carousel that I've created to give you an example. Here is my carousel on the 10 tools that I use for creating content. So the this carousel is going to give you the 10 tools that I use for creating content that has brought me millions of views. Then the context is that I've been creating content for 13 years and I've learned that the right tools make a huge difference. So you can also have proof here. So proof is the amount of views that I've got, the amount of followers that I've got, just basically proving that I've been creating for a while and I kind of know what I'm doing. So the tools that I use will be useful to someone reading this. Then you give them the content. So as this is 10 tools, I'll go into each tool. So it'll go one, two, three, four. If you've got steps, you'd go one, two, three, four. If you're just breaking down a subject or you're making a point, then you'll just go through that per slide. So this is how this is set up. Generally, you want to focus on one specific thing per slide. So here we're focusing on one specific tool per slide. If it has to go into multiple slides, that's not the end of the world, but generally I like to keep things to one slide. So this is how this is worked out. Then after your informational slides or your content slides, then you have a recap or a bonus step. Now here I didn't include a recap or a bonus step, but if we go to five simple ways to write attention grabbing content or five simple ways I write attention grabbing content, if we go here, we'll see there's a bonus tip here. So, and I'll, and I'll have a recap. After the five steps, you'll see a recap where I'll go through the five steps again. And then a bonus tip where I give you an additional useful tip. And then we have our next steps or our call to action. So after you read this post, you'll understand how to write better than 90% of people because most people don't learn how to write like this. But the thing is you don't know what to write about. So my call to action, gives you my 74 LinkedIn post ideas and hooks where you can click the link in my profile or scan this. And this is related to the rest of the carousel topic. And it's the extra thing that helps people. So it will lead to more leads and email subscribers. To recap, you start with the covering hook, then you have context and proof. Then you have the breakdown and steps. Then you have the bonus tip or recap then you have the next steps or call to action. If you need this all written down, I do have an in-depth blog post where I go over all of this and I'll link that in the description down below. So let's show you how to create these elements. Yeah. So first of all, we'd start out with a white background like this. Then I change this to my brand color, which is this nice red. If you've got a brand color, use that as well. If you want to add a little bit more zhuzh to it, you can get some graphics. When you find a graphic you like, go to the top right, click transparency, and then lower the transparency of the graphic. Just to add a little bit of texture in the background. But this isn't necessary. You don't have to do this. Like all my other slides are just clean, but this does make your thing a little bit more interesting. Then you'd add the title. So heading and we'll make this as big as it needs to be. I usually have this in the middle and we could make this bigger than this. If we're just going to start with how to, and then I'll duplicate this. So each line of text 
is its own element. So here's a very basic title. And then here I'd add an effect to the middle. So we add a background here, bring the spread to 15, bring the roundness to zero, change the color to white. And then you can see how to create carousels in Canva. And we also want to change all these text colors because black on a red background doesn't look great. So this is our title. And then we can also, if we want to make it bigger like that, oh, we can lock this in the background, by the way. So let's lock this. Then if we want to make this larger, we can just do that. We can get that in the middle. So how to create carousels in Canva, very straightforward. And I'd also have like a little subtitle in there. Generally, I like to have all the spacing equal, how to get benefit without objection. And then we want to add this circle. So here to find frames, you go to frames, <laughs> type in frame. And then you need these frames, yeah? These will not work. You need a frame like this with the sky and whatnot in the background. So you fling this on here. Now I make it a little bit smaller. And then you go to your uploads, find a picture of yourself. After you have the frame, you drag in a picture of yourself. And then as you can see, that goes right into the frame. Then you can add a border. So on a red background, I'd have a white border. Bring this border weight to 10. And then you could just copy some text down here to write your name and then align this to the left. On the rest of the slides, you want to make this smaller. But on the first slide, I'll have it quite big because there's space for it. And then for this swipe left design, I created this from scratch. So I found a shape. It was like an oblong shape like this. Or maybe I use this. I might use this. Yeah, I think um, maybe I'll use that actually. So we'll move this over here a little bit, create that. And then I added some text to it. Then we add some text and put this text in the middle. And then we also add an arrow. So we go to elements, go to arrow, bring this down here. Get a 180 going, make this shorter and make it thicker. So we go to, ooh, that's a bit much and then line it up. Yeah, that looks good enough to be honest. And then we'll group it up. So that's how you create a swipe left little button like that. I like this one better. So that's how we create the graphics. And then from this place, you just copy each page and change it into what you need. So here we'd have the context. So we'd copy this, we'd make this smaller, and then we'd start adding the context there, maybe some screenshots here. And then we'll start doing the steps. In order to do the steps like this, it's just more text. So it's just text at the top. So I flung some text at the top, made it a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller. And then we go step one and then effects and then background and then 15 spread, zero roundness, change it to white and change the text to black but you can use your brand colors. And then you, you know, have the steps and then you add your text for the body and then you change the size depending on how much content you include. That's how you create a LinkedIn carousel in Canva. To download it, you go to share, you go to download, and then you change this from PNG to PDF and then you hit download. How many slides should you include in a LinkedIn carousel? Study from 2024 shows that 10 to 20 slides is the best range, while 12.4 slides is the sweet spot. So I suggest aiming for a minimum of 12 slides. If you're not a designer and you wanna save time creating your LinkedIn carousels, then download my free LinkedIn carousel template for Canva. Link is in the description or go to the link shown on screen. You got nothing to lose except for the opportunity to download this free template because it won't be free and available forever. If you got any questions or you want me to make any other tutorials on LinkedIn, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next video.